So apparently over the last couple of weeks while I've been making this video, uh, we hit 1000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. So thank you guys for that. Um, I did make a discord server because a bunch of people were needing help and it doesn't really work to uh, give help in the comment section. So if you guys have any issues with any videos I make, or if you just have suggestions or want to talk about something or showcase what you've made, go ahead and join that discord server down in the description. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This video solves an issue that a bunch of people were having, so I hope you guys enjoy. So a while back, I made a video on how to use NoRay and Godot to set up multiplayer uh, without port forwarding. Uh, but a bunch of people were having issues with that, so I wanted to go over the solution to that problem. Uh, the problem is pretty simple. It's actually not on the client side. It actually has to do with uh, this tomfool.io, the server that NoRay provides for free. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just unreliable or what happened, but it seems like the server is always down or just not working. So uh, today I'm going to show you guys how you can self-host this uh, on Linode for about $5 a month. If you don't want to do that, then I'm also hosting my own Relay server that you're welcome to use. Uh, just know that the performance might not be the best, especially if a bunch of people are using it. So the first step is to head over to Linode. When you make an account, you'll be greeted with a page similar to this. We just want to go ahead and create a Linode. Then it'll ask for a region. You can go to the speed test page if you want. However, I know that US East is going to be the best choice for me. So I'm going to choose that from the dropdown. All of this can say the same here, but on the Linode plan, you obviously don't want to pay $36 a month for this. So go to shared CPU uh, and pick this Nanode one gigabyte for $5 a month. Uh, this is the cheapest one and it should be good enough for running NoRay. Next, you just need to give your Linode a label. I'm going to choose NoRay. Now this next field here is going to be your root password. Uh, this will be the password you use to connect to your server whenever you are making changes via SSH. So pick something pretty secure. It is important that you do. You can add an SSH key here if you want. Now this next section is firewall. I already have a firewall for this, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to create a new one, call it no ray, and then leave all these as default and select create. And from there, we are good to go. Go ahead and select create Linode. And now we will give this a minute to get up and running. All right, so our Linode is now up and running. So now the first thing we want to do is SSH into our server here. But before we can do that, we actually have to open up the SSH port. So come over to the network tab and come down to our firewall and make sure to come in here and add an inbound rule. And then just from the presets, select SSH, add the rule. And then at the bottom here, click Save Changes. And from there, if we go back to our main page by going to the Linodes tab and then back into NoRay, we can copy this SSH access command and then open up our uh, command prompt. Paste this in here, uh, type yes. And then it'll ask for that root password that we set earlier. So just go ahead and type that in here. And here we are in our server. So the first thing we need to do is actually download the NoRay files onto the server, and we can do that through GitHub. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a directory to hold all these files. Then we can git clone uh, the repository right there. And now if we CD into NoRay, you can see we have all these files here ready to go. So the next step now is to install Node and NPM. So we will go ahead and run these two files here. All right, and all these commands that I'm running will be down in the description below as well, so you don't have to type these out manually. Um, just copy and paste, and you should be good to go. Uh, the next thing we need to do is enable core pack. And finally, we want to enable PNPM. From there, we can just run PNPM install. And this will install all the packages that are required to run NoRay. Finally, we need to configure the environment variables for NoRay to run. Uh, conveniently, 
Noray does supply us with a um, example environment file. So what we can do is copy dot env example, and then we'll just copy it to a new dot environment file. We'll just leave everything as default. However, if you do want to change some of the configurations with Noray, you can run nano dot environment or dot env. And then this will bring up all the um, different properties that you can set here. But for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to leave everything as default. You can use control X to exit out of that window. Now the next step is to open up all the ports. To do that, I'm going to come back into our firewall here by going to the network tab and no ray. And then we're going to add an inbound rule. We're going to call this registration. And then the protocol here will be TCP. For ports, select custom. And then under custom port range, we'll put 8890 and then also 8891. Make sure that you separate those uh, with a comma. And then from there, just select all IPv4 and all IPv6 for these sources and add the rule. Next, we'll add another one. This will be called registrar. Protocol will be UDP. Again, custom for ports. And then for this, we're going to open up 8809. And then we're also going to open up all those relay ports, which is uh, 49152 through 51200. Again, all IPv4 and IPv6. And by the way, if you ever do change anything in your configuration file, make sure that you match the open ports. So if you change this relay ports to a different range, make sure it matches here. Same with all the other ports that I opened up. So we'll go ahead and add this rule and save changes. So now from there, we can go ahead and test this out. So run PMPM PM start. And this will go ahead and boot up Noray. If we come back into our Godot project here, we'll need to change this Noray address to whatever the address of your server is. And you can find that by going into your Linodes tab and selecting Noray. The public IP address is the one you want right here. Just simply copy that and paste it in here as a string. And now if we run this, going to copy the OID and then host, paste it over here and join. We should see that after a second here, uh, the players will now connect. And there we go. One issue you will notice is if you exit out of your terminal on the uh, windows here and leave that SSH session, uh, no ray will go down. So to fix that, we need to make sure that this runs even after we exit. And to make this even more reliable, we're gonna make it so that it restarts whenever we reboot the server. So to do this, we'll do sudo npm i pm2 to install pm2. This will take a second to install. Then from there, we'll make sure that we are in our no ray directory. And then pm2 start. And then we can give it a name as well. I'm just gonna call it no ray. And then it'll print out all of this. And we can just do pm2 save. And then finally, PM2 startup. Now we should see that no array is back up and running. We can reboot it. Now after that server has rebooted, we should be able to see in Godot, everything still works. With that all said and done, I hope this helped you guys and solved all the issues that were going on with Noray. Feel free to use this address in place of tomfull.io. If you guys have any questions or issues, be sure to drop them down in the comment section, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.